Hello and welcome to another episode of Minuteman Productions. Today we've got the 511 AMP 72. AMP stands for All Missions Pack. It's designed as a bag that can basically do anything, at least the platform, because there's different sizes. There's the AMP 72, which is this one, the AMP 24, uh, AMP 12, 10, there's a whole bunch. But this is the biggest one out of the group. It's a 40 liter pack. It's 22 inches tall, so it's kind of a taller pack. 14 inches wide and 8 inches deep so you can fit a pretty good amount of stuff in this pack I use it as a bug out bag basic survival bug out bag so let's just get right into it here this is the color tungsten it's kind of a grayish blue almost but mostly gray almost like an indigo but I would just call it gray and the interesting thing about these are the gear sets so this pouch right here is uh, detachable and hooks on with Velcro. As you can see here, this these pouches ship with this cover on them, so you can choose to not use the Velcro and just use the buckles. And they attach with these two points here, these hooks. So really quickly, I can take this off and then I can interchange it for a different pouch which I'll show you here in a second. But let's just get into the bag really quick. I'm not gonna go through everything because there's a lot of stuff in here. But I just wanna give you an idea of how it works. So this gear set is called the two banger. It's got uh, two 30 round AR magazine pouches. like a flap with velcro you can also tuck them in and you can also configure it as a bungee setup and the two banger pouch comes with the bungee cords so here there's two pouches on this and here I just got a little first aid kit and there's a partition here with uh, you can put extra items obviously YKK zippers all throughout the bags this bag and uh, Duraflex buckles. Now here there's a Velcro panel and you can attach a holster. And here I've just got a little J-frame Smith & Wesson. Okay, so now let's get into the meat of the bag. And here is a CCW pocket opens with a velcro flap with these two velcro tabs and in here got a Glock 26 and you can fit 33 round Glock mag so plenty of firepower just in case you never know and there's also a little uh, velc or, um, nylon strap in here that acts as a belt so that you can clip on a holster, which is pretty interesting. Here's a Velcro patch. You can put flags or anything. It's the 511 logo. This is like the only thing that gives this bag away as a tactical backpack. This whole bag is very sleek and covert looking. There's not a lot of molly. There's not any molly anywhere on the bag, on the outside at least. So you look like a civilian more than some kind of you know operator dude. So up here on the top, there's a fleece-lined sunglasses pouch. It's not very big, so you can't put the case with your sunglasses. You can only put the sunglasses themselves. I don't really like the sunglasses pouch right here because if you only have your sunglasses, you know, something can hit your bag and it's not protected, so I'd rather put the sunglasses somewhere else. But this is still a good pouch. Um, I prefer the Covert 18 style where it's on the top and it's bigger, but anyway. So there's four compression straps. And by the way, this two-banger bag, or any of the gear sets, they combine with the compression strap. Because if you didn't have this, you would use this buckle that's on the bag. But instead, you use the buckle that's on the gear set. So we'll undo these. Okay. 
And if you've ever seen the 511 quad zip, the bag is designed so that there's four zippers, hence the name quad zip, and you can use multiple zippers to open different parts of the bag. But anyway, full clamshell opening as usual. So in here we've got two inside water bottle pockets that are pretty sizable. I can hold this. I think this is a 32 ounce or a 40 ounce. I'm not sure. But this is a good size water bottle that you can stick in there. Other side I've got paracord, saw, and there's a boonie hat. Snug pack jungle bag, a jungle blanket, some hygiene stuff, fire kit, stuff for the uh, stove and the uh, utensils and all that. A uh, little snug pack special forces baby uh, baby sack. Here's the nesting cup for the water bottle, with the stove and the tarp uh, poncho. I couldn't fit the nesting cup and the water bottle together in this uh, water bottle pocket. It's not big enough, but it's not a big deal. It's still a good size, this water bottle pocket. And uh, some water kit stuff. So basically the, the uh, idea with this, this whole backing is Velcro. And you can put whatever you want. The customization is endless with this bag. And in here, you can see there's two clips, just like on the outside. So you can put any gear set you want, hook it onto here. This hex grid platform, which is a pretty ingenious new uh, way of connecting Molly stuff to your bag, you can go 12 different directions. So you can go diagonal. And this came on the outside of the bag, attached to here. So that's how it comes. That's how the bag ships. So you could usually I would, you know, molly this up to here. So you can have that attached up there and then put whatever you need down there. So the uh, panel right here, we've got the traditional mesh pockets. What's different about these is, uh, first of all, this opens on the bottom. There's no top opening, which I would have liked to see, but it's not a big deal. A bunch of random stuff in here. Notebook, uh, notepads, uh, face paint with electrical tape, compass, sewing kit. And there's also a hidden pocket below here. You can put whatever you want, passports, anything, money. And this is sort of a new design. This. This opens on the side, there's no horizontal zippers. And in here, I don't know if you can see that, there's elastic loops that are different sizes, so you can put different size items. I've got a Ready Man survival card, a bug spray, flashlight, pen, pencil, sharpie, knife sharpener. And there's a little key ring in here too. So very organized pack. You can put a lot of stuff, organize it very nicely. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. Alright, let's talk about the uh, back for a second. Shoulder straps, nice and beefy. Got the sternum straps, these vertical uh, loops here, nylon loops. Looks a little less tactical than the horizontal, in my opinion. There's an elastic loop for your hydration bladder. There's another non-elastic loop. And there's compression straps up here too, which really helps with the load bearing. Now this uh, shoulder strap has a softer material on the top here, if you can see that makes it really comfortable. This pack is very comfortable to wear. 
this new design of the panel here. It's kind of slightly raised right here to conform to the curves of your back, which really helps a lot. This is a hard mesh material. It's not as soft as the other 511 packs, but it's still very comfortable. Nice embossing right here, the 511 logo. And you've got the waist straps, which are attached, non-detachable, and you can't hide them away. But they are very good. Little pocket on them. And just very nice. Got a grab handle here on the side, so if you want to use it as a kind of a luggage case, you can do that. And there's also side pockets on here that go in and they act as the outside of the water bottle pocket. So kind of intertwines there. And a really cool feature of this bag is it is a short barrel rifle case. So behind the main compartment here, you can open this up, it opens all the way around the pack. Now you've got short barreled rifle case. So you put the barrel in there. You got this Velcro nylon strap, hooks around these vertical nylon straps. And uh, really cool design. I want to get a Ruger 1022 takedown that I plan on putting in here. You can also hang this up as like a garment uh, hanger or whatever if you're traveling. If you don't want to use the rifle case. So anyway, oh yeah, also there's a bottom pocket here. I just have like a beanie and stuff in there. So a lot of options with this pack. By the way, there's another gear set called the admin gear set. And it's uh Pretty cool, let me show you real quick. Bear with me here for a second. This is the admin gear set. It's kind of a more simpler, like the rush bag. Basically the admin gear set from the rush bag. The front panel. You can it's a uh, detachable. So, show you how that looks real quick. So if you don't like this, you can put this on, you can put this on the inside, this on the outside. Like I said, a lot of customization here, so. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider a like and subscribe, leave a comment, and until next time, thanks for watching.